Sam Altman isn't just sounding an alarm, he's offering a prophecy. When the CEO of OpenAI sat before Congress, he wasn't pitching a new app or selling a product. He was warning the world. And not with the polished PR tone tech CEOs usually adopt, but with something much rarer, humility and fear. I feel small next to it, he said about artificial general intelligence or AGI. Let that sentence echo for a moment. The man leading the charge towards super intelligent machines feels dwarfed by what he's helping to build. This isn't just a Silicon Valley executive musing about code and compute. This is a man acknowledging that we're hurtling toward a new epoch, one that might make the internet revolution look quaint. Sam Altman is describing an inflection point in human history. And if he's even partially right, everything is about to change. He told lawmakers, this may turn out to be the biggest technological revolution humanity will have ever produced. Produced. That includes fire, the wheel, electricity, the printing press, nuclear energy, the whole sweep of technological advancement. What makes AGI so terrifying is not that it exists, but that its creators don't fully understand it. Altman admitted, these are going to be tools that are capable of things that we can't quite wrap our heads around. What is AGI? And why does it matter so much? AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence a system capable of performing any intellectual task that a human can. But unlike current AI models that specialize in narrow domains, language, vision, recommendation systems, AGI would be a master of all traits. It could reason, adapt, plan, imagine, invent, and even build other AIs. In essence, AGI wouldn't just assist humanity, it could replace human input entirely in most cognitive domains. It could solve unsolved scientific problems, design new technologies, automate governance, or simulate and optimize entire economies. That's the dream or the nightmare, depending on how it's handled. The scariest part? Altman himself doesn't know exactly how these systems work. He admitted that large language models exhibit emergent properties, skills and behaviors no one expected or explicitly coded into them. That's like building a car and discovering it can fly when no one designed it to. It's astonishing, but it's also dangerous. The black box problem. The AI models we're building today, particularly large language models like GPT, are black boxes. We know what data they were trained on. We know the architecture, billions or trillions of parameters. We know the outputs, but we don't understand how the internal reasoning happens. And yet these systems are writing code, making business decisions, producing art, and even teaching themselves new skills. This lack of interpretability is one of the biggest challenges in AI safety. How do you trust a system you don't understand, especially when it might someday make decisions about critical infrastructure, medical treatments, or national security? Altman's honesty in acknowledging this is both commendable and chilling. It underscores the urgency of developing auditing frameworks and global safety protocols. If even the creators are unsure of how their creations behave in the wild, then society has a right to be cautious. The energy equation. AGI will eat power like nothing before. Perhaps one of the most mind-blowing revelations from Altman's recent talks is the scale of compute needed to reach AGI. He suggested that future models might need 100 million times more computational power than current models. That's not just a big number, it's a civilization-altering one. The energy required to support such models would rival that of entire countries. Altman believes the cost of AI development will soon converge with the cost of energy. That's why OpenAI is now talking about investing in advanced energy infrastructure, including nuclear fusion and fission. They're not just building code, they're preparing to reshape the physical world to support a digital superintelligence. This leads to a troubling thought. Will only the most powerful governments and tech giants be able to afford AGI? If so, will they hoard it? I am incredibly excited about the rate of progress, but I also am cautious and uh, I would say like, I don't know, I feel small next to it or something. I think this is beyond something that we all fully yet understand where it's going to go. Uh, this is, this is I, I believe, uh, among the biggest, maybe it'll turn out to be the biggest technological revolutions humanity will have ever produced. And I, I feel privileged to be here. Uh, I feel curious and interested in what's gonna happen. Um, but I do think things are gonna change quite substantially. I, I think humans have a wonderful ability to adapt and things that seem amazing will become the new normal very quickly. Uh, we will figure out how to use these tools to just do things we could never do before. And I think it will be quite extraordinary, but these are going to be tools that are capable of things that we Could we see a new form of digital feudalism where control over intelligence becomes the ultimate geopolitical weapon? The global race. Not everyone agrees on the road to AGI. There's a sharp divide among experts about how AGI should be built. On one side, you have people like Sam Altman and OpenAI who believe scaling up large language models, more data, more computation, more parameters, is the path to intelligence. There's some evidence to support this. GPT models have shown increasingly sophisticated behavior as they've grown in size. But others, like Meta AI chief Jan LeCun deeply disagree. LeCun has called current LLMs stochastic parrots, brilliant mimics that lack real understanding. I, I was here about two years ago, 
And at that time, ChatGPT had recently launched. It was a curiosity in the world. People weren't sure what it was going to mean, what it was going to be used for. Um, today, uh, we've, we've made significant progress. ChatGPT is used by more than 500 million people a week. Uh, I just saw yesterday that, it, according to SimilarWeb, it's now the fifth biggest website on the internet globally, um, growing very quickly. But most of all, it's being used in really important ways. It's significantly increasing productivity. We hear scientists say they're two or three times more productive than they could be before. We hear people that are getting uh, medical. They can predict language, but don't know what it means. They don't have goals. They don't reason. They don't understand causality. They just guess the next word based on statistical patterns. Lacan believes the future of AGI lies not in bigger models, but in different models, ones that learn like animals and humans. He's working on architectures that can observe the world, form internal models of reality, and learn through trial and error. This philosophical divide is massive. It determines whether AGI will come from brute force or elegant design, from scaling what we have or building something new from the ground up. The timeline, is AGI coming by 2027? Altman has floated the possibility of achieving AGI by 2027. That's barely two years away. Is that realistic? It depends on your definition of AGI. If you define it as a system that outperforms humans at economically valuable work, OpenAI's preferred definition, then maybe, already, AI systems are replacing or augmenting roles in customer service, design, finance, logistics, and even programming. With the addition of tool use, like browsing the web, calling APIs, controlling robots, AI agents are becoming more autonomous. Combine this with alignment techniques like reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF, and constitutional AI, and the systems are learning how to behave in socially acceptable ways. They're becoming more useful, more safe, and more general. But they still have flaws, hallucinations, lack of true reasoning, poor understanding of physical context. Solving these could take a few years or a few decades. No one knows. Three major challenges to AGI. Even if we continue scaling at breakneck speed, three enormous challenges stand in the way. One, hallucinations. AI models often generate confident but false information. This might be fine for creative writing, but disastrous in medicine, law, or national security. Until this is fixed, AGI cannot be fully trusted. Two, lack of common sense. These models don't know the world. They simulate understanding, but they don't experience it. They can describe a bicycle in detail, but don't know how balance or motion feels. Real world grounding remains elusive. Three, brittleness. Models trained on vast data sets still perform poorly in novel scenarios. They're not robust when facing edge cases or unusual data. AGI must be flexible and capable of generalizing across unfamiliar domains. The technical questions are daunting, but the ethical questions are even more profound. If we succeed in building AGI, what rights should it have? What responsibilities do we hold toward it? Is it a tool or a new form of life? If AGI becomes conscious, or at least convincingly simulates consciousness, should it be subject to moral consideration? And what if it surpasses us intellectually? He believes that AGI, if guided safely and ethically, can usher in a golden age. We could see cures for diseases, elimination of poverty, solutions for climate change, and even answers to questions about the universe we haven't yet asked. But this utopia won't happen by default. It requires responsibility, regulation, and restraint. It demands a global conversation, one that includes scientists, ethicists, governments, and everyday people. And it requires us to ask hard questions now, not after AGI is unleashed. So, are we ready for AGI? The AGI revolution isn't decades away, it's coming into view. Whether it arrives in 2027 or 2037, the groundwork is being laid now. The choices we make today will shape the next century of life on Earth. So we must ask, will AGI be our greatest ally or our gravest mistake? Will we be the architects of a new golden age or spectators to our own obsolescence? Thanks for tuning in to WebSpark, your trusted guide through the evolving world of AI and technology. For more insights and updates, don't forget to like, subscribe, and explore our partner resources at Judy F Marketing, your destination for strategic growth in the digital age. Stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next deep dive.